Hey guys, welcome to the mini-series to demonstrate an implementation of the PubSub pattern that I posted recently. We're going to cover a lot today, so stay tuned. Initially, I thought of typing the code with you guys so that we're on the same page, but then I thought that there's no point in wasting video time typing the same thing you already have complete access to. Instead, I'll highlight the important concepts needed to understand this code, and you can come up with an even better implementation yourselves. Before starting anything here, you'll need to install npm. It's a package manager for JavaScript. So why would you need this? One example is while working on a project with a few guys, say you want to use, I don't know, Bootstrap. You may want to get it from a CDN, but another guy may download it manually from Get Bootstrap, and this other guy may download a different version of Bootstrap. You already have discrepancies in importing a single library. Imagine the mess while working with a huge project with many dependencies. NPM solves this by ensuring all dependencies are only downloaded once and there are no anomalies. Everyone is referencing the same bootstrap version from the same location. Most importantly, NPM allows you to build modular code. Modules are independently functional units. Ideally, modules are completely independent of each other. That is, there is no coupling. Just a fancy word, don't worry about it. Learning modular design in JavaScript is imperative, and that is why we're talking about the publisher subscriber pattern. I included a link to the docs in the description to help you set up Node and NPM, so get Node up and running and come back when you're done. So now we have Node and NPM. Excellent. With NPM, we can install the packages required for the project. Right now, we have three dependencies, jQuery, Bootstrap, and Mustache. jQuery, well, that's a JavaScript library. Some people say, no, it's a framework. Call it what you will, but on jQuery's official page, it's described as a library. Bootstrap is a front-end web framework. I don't think there's much to argue about there. From its GitHub page, Mustache is a logicless template syntax. This means that you are forced to put the logic part of your code in a location different from your UI. This is very important to prevent spaghetti code and to address the separation of concerns. You'll only need to understand the concepts of sections and variables in Mustache. I'll explain it using the publishers and subscribers that we use here. Every publisher has a name and a set of works they've published. Furthermore, each work has a topic, which is the category the post belongs to, and a payload, which is the actual content. Here is an array of publishers. We access content of the arrays using sections. Every other component is just a simple variable. In this code, publishers and works are arrays, thus they constitute sections. A section begins with a pound and ends with a slash. The text between the two tags is referred to the sections block. The other fields, name, topic, and payload, constitute variables. Our publisher's template would look something like this. Now, every subscriber has a name, a list of topics they subscribe to, and notifications, which is an array of published works. Here's the structure of an array of subscribers. This is just an example. In this subscriber code, subscribers, topics, and notifications are the sections and name of subscriber, name of published topic, the topic itself, and the payload, they're all variables. The subscriber template will look something like this. Under topics, you notice we use a dot instead of a variable name. This is used to loop through the array of strings, like topics, or a one-dimensional data as opposed to an array of objects, like it was the case of notifications. Go to the terminal and enter your working directory. We want to install the three dependencies, jQuery, Bootstrap, and Mustache. If you're typing all of this from scratch without using my repo, then you obviously don't have access to my package.json file. Just type npm init 
follow the prompts and it will be created. Once that's done, we can use npm install with the save option, which will grab the required dependencies and automatically add it to the dependency section of your package.json. So when your people want to use these libraries, just pass them the package.json file and they'll need to run npm install to get the dependencies. Cool. If you've followed everything up to this point, understanding the index page will be a breeze. First, include the minified bootstrap CSS file, and then the main.css, which has the styles for this entire page. The next chunk of code is just a text box with an add and remove button. Now, we come to the publishers template. Notice the resemblance to the template we just described for publishers. We repeat the same for subscribers by providing a UI to add and remove subscribers and a subscriber template like the one described previously. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of how it will look when the template is rendered. And in the end, we import our three dependencies and the JavaScript files which we will take a look at in the next videos. If you try to render this now, you'll get errors because pages are not found and all that mustache code is just spit out on your screen. This is because mustache has not been rendered yet. We'll do this in our scripts.js file in the next video. And as always, if you like this video, you can like, rate, comment, share, subscribe.